I am Jeffrey Villardwin and Troy Total War. I should be showing you the uh, Agamemnon campaign, but in the meantime, I have, I have started a, an Achilles campaign and I had uh, an amazing battle last night. So I'm going to show you that instead. I will continue with the Agamemnon campaign next time. So, um, it, this campaign is on normal difficulty, but it's not as normal as I remember it. So, uh, if you see uh, the uh, various leaders, they are, you know, when you start a campaign, it's either easy, difficulty, normal, or whatever, but it's just the starting position afterwards, they all become pretty hard, I'm afraid. And although this is on normal difficulty, you'll see how hard it became relatively quickly. So I started uh, expanding this area, I confederated with uh, King Lycomedes since the Lopians. And then I got uh, a message, this epic mission, Troy Unbowed. Using Achilles army, win three battles against the following tribe, the Pelasgians. Now at that point, I didn't realize there's a faction here called the Pelasgians. That I was already at war with there. But I thought this means attacking the Trojans, so I thought, okay, let's send an army over to Troy. And so I got Achilles and Patroclus and sent them over to this settlement here. Unfortunately, Odysseus got it first, so I thought I'd sail up here. Uh, that belonged to the Trojans, unfortunately. Um, the Lycians got it. So Sarpedon is already here. And Sarpedon is an ally, as you see here, is an ally of, of us for some bizarre reason. I made him an ally. He wasn't an ally before. So he's now an ally of the Achaeans. And uh, uh, the uh, Amazons are friendly, the Amazons of uh, Hippolyta. And then there's another interesting faction here, Ephesus, is it? Yes. They managed to expand in this direction and they almost reached Troy. Then there are the Mysians over here, they're enemies of Troy. There are some Thracians over here, enemies of Troy. And Troy, the Trojans are, are very, um, very isolated now. That's all they have. So I thought, how am I going to win three battles? They're about to collapse. That was my initial thinking. Very naive. Um, so. Uh, having failed to capture this settlement, I sent these are the two armies I have Achilles. Sorry, oh, go away. Achilles here, yeah, he has a full stack. And these bluish army uh, units have a lot of experience. I, I thought it was pretty good. And having so much experience, I thought, well, that's, no, I'm doing well. And here's Patroclus, Patroclus with the rest. And he also has some blue units. I have some centers that I got from a mission or something. And uh, and there are a few other armies around. Uh, so we have this, these, most of them are allies of ours, not all of them, but most of them. They've come to take the same settlement. And there are some Lycians here, you see that them. Uh, some more Lycians in, in ships and so on. And then I have, so my own traditional allies, uh, the Mycenaeans, the uh, Spartans of Menelaus, the, uh, uh, the Ith Ithacans or so, of Odysseus, here's Agamemnon himself. So we're all gathering around this settlement. I thought, yeah, this, this is not so hard. This campaign is normal difficulty. Maybe it's too easy. That's what I thought. And what happened is as soon as I took this settlement, suddenly the Lycians, who are probably the strongest faction in the game, made a complete about face. So here is the diplomatic scroll. So I am so our faction is strength rank five. Odysseus is strength rank two. I suppose three and four is Sparta and Mycenae. And number one, I suppose, must be Lycia. Uh, it's I don't know if it's possible to see if it will if it will turn up. Uh, just to guess. Where are they? Let's see. Number one, that's what I thought. So strength rank one. So they're the strongest faction. 
And, you know, at that point, I thought the five strongest factions are fighting the Trojans. You know, this campaign is maybe really it's easy. You know, it's a normal difficulty. You know, that's what I expected. Uh, no, as soon as I captured the settlement, the Lycians made an about face, made war with me. And then they attacked Agamemnon and me. And they had like three three stacks. They have one at sea and two 20, 20 units. There's one and another one there. They attacked us. Um, and I was completely worn out, so probably was Agamemnon, we were completely worn out from the siege because we had to take the settlement and they didn't contribute anything. And now they were fighting us and, you know, one of those 20 unit stacks was stronger than all of us, basically, <laughs> because we were so worn out. It was really hard. I mean, from Ally, he went to complete enemy, made peace with the Trojans and declared war on the Achaeans so hard and then after that having survived that just three game turns later see what happens okay i'm going to load a new i'm going to load the next save not the next save but three games later the one i named thea 78 doomstack and then i'll show you the crazy battle that followed So it was crazy enough at that point. But then, okay, so we took that settlement, that was the one that I took. And then I sent a spy over here, and look what the spy found. And look at this Not stack. Not a chance. Not a chance, absolutely. All of them triple gold chevrons. I thought I had an experienced army. Look at this. This is crazy. So fortunately, their leader is not the most experienced one. But then it has this fantastic units. I mean, look at the, they have some sort of experience stack or something here. 12, 150, I think some sort of hit points over there. I mean, this is crazy how strong these units are. Fearless swordsmen, two of them, triple gold and chevron. Then Hector's chosen, three of them, triple gold and chevron. Then champions of Troy, triple gold and chevron, three of them. It must be a scripted stack. And then five of these. Uh, five Trojan princes and two Trojan noble chariots. All of them triple golden chevrons. It must be, and all full strength and just sitting next to Troy. So it must be a scripted stack. Okay. And, uh, and so I'm going to launch the battle and I'm going to show you how this battle went. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the game turn. And uh, we wait until the battle starts, until, until they attack me, basically. So here is at the forefront Achilles and Patroclus. And we have the garrison of this element we just captured. So the garrison is basically, there's nothing there. It's just a few men per unit. Here they come. Look at the odds. Look at the odds. My God. So I have Hera, Ares, and Athena on my side. I don't know what the enemy has. So the greater the proportion of yellow on this bar, the greater the military might or whatever compared to that of your enemy or vice versa. <laughs> vice versa applies to this occasion. So here are some of the buffs of Patroclus. And here's Achilles and here's the garrison. You see the units are almost empty. They have no men in it. In it. So the problem is I hadn't realized so when I launched this battle. Oh, okay. Let's go back to let's look at the enemy units. So feel the swordsmen. Hector's chosen three of them. Uh, champions of Troy, another three, guards of Troy, three or four of those, Trojan princes, about five of them, and then the Trojan noble chariots, two of those, they are super heavy, those uh, Trojan noble chariots, they're impossible. And then there is a reinforcing army as well. Uh, and Esipos, fortunately, is not a very good general, and those were the odds here. Let's have a look at them. So, if I had to resolve high casualties predicted for our army, low casualties for the enemy army, if I auto resolve. So, let's see if we can win this battle. It's otherwise, I'm going to lose those two stacks 
it's the only armies I have. I have nothing more. Achilles and Patroclus. They are the only two that I have. I have nothing else in my faction. So um, here's uh, the beginning of the battle, just to show you um, how I'm going to deploy. So at the distance you see where the enemy is going to come out. And I'm going to make three groups. And uh, so I'm going to make an infantry group and put it in the middle, and I'm going to put chariots on the flanks. And I'm going to go through the woods, so I'm slightly protected from arrow fire, since the Trojans seem quite strong. They have those five units of Trojan princer, princer archers or whatever. Here's our, our army, where it comes from, and that's the enemy army, where the enemy army, the enemy reinforcements come from in the distance. So let's make that stack um, first, that make that infantry army. So I'm going to put heavy units at the front, archers behind them, or slingers. And then I put this, these lighter units of spears on the sides. Okay, something like that. And I'll use them as flankers. Uh, the three heavy units at the front are, are stronger, they're better. So. So I'm going to use them to hold the line. And then the one remaining unit, I'm going to put them at the back like that as a reserve. And uh, let's, let's just block all of them. Okay, I'll put the uh, charges actually. One group of charges, three of them on the right and another three on the left. The reason I have charges is that that's the only unit you could get in that settlement, unfortunately in that province, whatever. You couldn't get any other units, so I had to hire these chariots in a hurry when I saw that um, there's a big stack next to Troy and they were going to attack me. And so I have lots of chariots, very expensive, but there was no other unit I could, I could hire, so... Uh, so I'm gonna block them. I'm gonna put this one unit also at the back. I've forgotten them. Forgotten him, and then... Um, Block them as well. So I made three groups and I'm going to put them on uh, group block. And that's uh, the distance where the, the friendly and enemy reinforcements. The enemy is receiving yeah, reinforcements. So that's the enemy reinforcements there where that thing is splashing. So I, I've grouped them, so I'm going to move them forward. And since both enemy armies are spawning at the very edge of the map. You can see there, here at the very edge where Achilles is. I have to really hurry to go and help Achilles. So otherwise they'll you know, gun up on him. And you see these garrison units, I have to run them out back to their settlement. Because if I don't do that, um, I can only have 40 units in the battlefield and command them. So six or seven of Achilles units will not come in until I have casualties and lose six or seven units and they're routed. So um, I'm going to show you now the rest from a save, so bear with me. I'm going to load a save where I've saved this butthole. Exit to main menu. Good battles. Replies. Patroclus dead. He actually died. Well, he was injured or something. And, and that was a very hairy battle. I mean, the odds were crazy. The enemy units, triple golden chevron at this point. The heaviest units in the game, triple golden chevron. Okay, so... Reinforcements are here. Let's have a look at the battle. So at the very back is Achilles is over here. He's spawning. It is. And they have a gang hole, these guys. But they're relatively light units, so I put them in the trees here. So in the beginning, the enemy has some very good archers. So I'm very really bit, I'm quite afraid of the enemy archers. So I'm going to put them down here in the woods, so you can't see very much. I'm afraid. But here's from above, so you can see what I'm doing. So here are the two Trojan armies. 
Uh, the main army is here, and then the reinforcing army is over there. And uh, I have to hurry my units over the because they're going to gun. Yeah, they're going to gun upon Achilles. It's quite clear. So moving, I'm moving Achilles units over here. I'm trying to get on to this hill, but I didn't manage to do this in time. Active, Achilles activated some sort of ability, and we're charging them. And there's a lot of chariots. Okay, there's a lot of chariots down here. See them, and then. Um, there are various light units, uh, various, uh, various kind of light units back now coming in now that I ran away the garrison. I ran away the garrison, so I also have some of these uh, sexy sirens. It would be impossible to concentrate on the fight with this with his, uh, sexy sirens around. And I'm gonna put them into good use, you'll see. You'll see how, what you can do with the sirens. So here is Patroclus, he's running, running, running into battle. Heart. And they have two enemy chariots here, very heavy, triple golden sovereign, the heaviest, heaviest chariots that they have. And so here already some of my units have been routed because the enemy units are so tough. And I'm doing the best I can, activating abilities, the enemy is doing the same. And so now I have these centaurs here. You see, they're going to... Uh, now the archers became isolated. So everything now, everybody's going to go... Sorry, everybody's going to go for... For the enemy light units here. So charging them with the centers. Your warriors have been routed. Okay, some units have been routed. And my chariots are running as fast as they can to get into the fight. So they want to kind of they're trying to run down this unit here, but they they took they escaped into the woods basically. Ah, what am I doing? Sorry. They escaped into the woods, and infantry units can run. Infantry units can run quite fast in the woods compared to chariots. So I'm disengaging the chariots. Okay, over here I'm kind of running as fast as I can. Okay, warriors are running, and Patroclus has already, this is very fast, Patroclus has already gotten here, is attacking those other chariots, and Meli has broken one of the chariots, but over here Achilles is really having a problem, he's losing a lot of men, and, and we're told, you know, Patroclus needs to get here fast, because we're yeah, lost. I mean, we lost everybody, literally all his units here are down to just a few men at this point. It's all Trojans, you can see. You just have like a handful of men trying to hold them back, waiting for Patroclus. And here's Achilles fighting alone, everybody. What makes you think you can best me? Just shut up and fight! And he's fighting the enemy general, you see, he's fighting the enemy commander. And everybody's watching. Unfortunately, nobody's stabbing him from the back. That's pretty amazing. Okay. Patroclus, you have to hurry up. So Patroclus now is sending, is sending all his units. He's hit them at the back, but unfortunately Achilles' army is all routed. It just has a couple of units still resisting down here. And I'm trying to do some kind of flanking. I'm using the chariots and so on around here. Uh, but basically, you know, Achilles' army is completely been routed. He has just these two units here, here just to the foreground. You see how depleted they are. All other units of Achilles, all the melee units have been routed. Uh, I've done well destroying the various archers and so on that were hanging at the back with the chariots and uh, with Patroclus army. But over here now, it's, uh, it's looking very, very tough. It's looking very tough. Because at this point, uh, the Trojans have the high ground. I'm attacking them from below. They have better units, triple golden chevron. Very heavy, super heavy units. They're all together. And Achilles' army has been almost completely destroyed. Here are the two generals fighting. Is that maybe what happened there? I'm not really sure. 
Patroclus is still alive, I think, at this point, and so is Achilles. You see, Patroclus is there. I don't know who died. It must have been some captain or something. And Achilles is still, still alive. And I'm using them for buffs at this point, because he's down to one hit point. So is Patroclus. They're both of them down to their last hit point. And you see the enemy now has only melee units. No, Patroclus is not down to our last hit point. Okay. But he's gonna be... No, he's down to one hit point already. And here's the enemy general. He's doing much, much better. Uh, I have routed all the units that were out in the open. Ah, and forgot about the uh, the sirens. Sorry. So the sirens drew out one of their heavy units. Oh, come on. And... Oh, come on. They drew them out, they kind of put a spell on them, they start running after the sirens. They're the sirens. And then, uh, because I had a lot of chariots, because I had a lot of chariots, I ran them down with my chariots. Okay. So this was like an almost full strength enemy unit. And I pull them out with the sirens out of that huge melee. And then the chariots charge them, and also various slingers are so on shot of them, and various, you know, the sirens themselves with their javelins and various other units. The sirens have enormously long range. And there's, you see, the slingers and so on, and they destroy that unit. In the meantime, the rest of the army is retreating out in the open. Some of them have been routed even. Uh, because I could not fire them in the woods anymore because I had no more melee units. At this point I have practically only missile units left and chariots. So I needed them to be out in the open. So I retreated, they came out to the open. And when you charge them with chariots I have to kind of run through them. And just just run through them with chariots and then continue continue on. And here, uh, stuck in the back, the triple golden servant. They have very heavy mass. Okay, they killed this chariot. And so this is at this point. It's still pretty even. You know, I managed to kind of turn the odds in my favor, but uh, we're still not totally winning. And they have a lot of infantry, and they just have a handful of men trying to pull them back. But fortunately what I have is I have a lot of these chariots, and they keep, keep running through them. Along with the various light units, anything I have, uh, various slingers, and the slingers are running out of ammunition, so if you see some of them just hanging around doing nothing, that's because they've run out of ammunition at this point. And now finally, you know, they're chasing some unit, but they got routed because they kept being charged on every side with chariots, and they had been fun for a long time, so the morale is low. So finally, I'm turning the battle around. So we, we, we routed those units, but there's still some fighting going on here. It's not over yet. And they're... Uh, their commander just broke. Okay, their commander Victory here just, close enough to taste. just broke. Chaos. And finally we won. But it was, it was pretty chaotic, uh, this battle, and very, very tight until the very end. So I lost practically the majority of the melee units. Uh, the archers and the various missile units ran out of ammunition and basically I had to win the battle with those chariots at the very end. There, is, there was nothing much else left. So I had to draw them out into the open to charge them with the chariots. All these people cannot kill a routed enemy hero with just three Three level hero, it wasn't even a very high hero. Moving out ordering. Destroy the foe. 
enemy hero has sustained a wound. Okay, sustained a wound. I mean, the whole battle was so fast. All those types, you have to macromanage 40 units. Okay, I think we can kind of stop it at this point. And I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch over to um, so the results which I've saved. So here are the results from the actual battle. So our army had suffered extremely heavy casualties, but we won. This is Patroclus. He managed to survive just. We got various you know, experience and you know, very, some loot after the battle. And um, the results are a bit low. So that was a crazy battle on normal difficulty. And you see that many units were lost, some of them were down to just a few men, only the chariots basically, and the uh, skirmishers did okay, survived till the end. I'm going to take them on to replenish the casualties. And that was a battle I wanted to show you. It was totally crazy. Thank you for watching.